All right, so this needs to be addressed. Now, I haven't made a video on this fucker in, like, I don't know how long. It's probably been a few years. Uh, but, unfortunately, uh, this piece of shit has popped up yet again. Now, of course, I'm talking about Michael Mattis, a.k.a. the frog, the French frog, uh, the, the whatever you want to call him. Uh, he's popped up a number of times over the last, you know, like, two, three years. And every time that he's popped back up, I haven't really uh, made a video or anything or really said a whole lot. Uh, I know that Damien Skyfire, who has made a videos on this most recent debacle with Michael Mattis, uh, go check that one out. I believe Gage has as well, so go check out his video as well, if he has made a video on it, which I'm pretty sure he has. But... Um, no, I haven't really talked about this person in a while, just because I, I, I felt like I had said all I really needed to say, uh, and there's only so much you can say about this fucker. Uh, but I, I can give you a little bit of backstory, because I feel like there are some people who might be a little bit more new to this, who weren't around, like, you know, almost four years ago when this guy popped up. But, basically, around 2019, summer of 2019, when I was really involved in the anti-pedophile, um, you know, pedo-hunting stuff with uh, Cass Whore Fox and uh, Damien Skyfire, Jennifer Ranella, Gage uh, the Doom Guy. I know that Gage goes by Gage the Loudmouth nowadays, but I know him as Doom Guy, so I just call him Doom Guy, Gage the Doom Guy. Um, and several others... This guy popped up out of nowhere and started spouting off about how, you know, all this all this crap about how, you know, child sex play, which is one of the things that he advocates for, how child sex play is perfectly fine and feelings of pedophilia are just fine and dandy and, uh, you know, children can uh, give informed consent, which is another bullshit thing that he tried to convince me on and others on as well you know he has um some of these like half-baked articles and research articles very nefarious that he shared um which if you do a search on or if you if you try to put into google or google scholar or whatever um you will more than likely find that it's been debunked that it's complete bullshit um it's just a big semantics game really when it comes down to it but um I myself had a lot, had a uh, a number of direct conversations with this guy, um, where we debated back and forth, and that's where he shared those articles, and you know I, I I did this for a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't have the screenshots anymore. I ended up deleting all of them because I needed to clear up storage on my phone, and also just because you know I figured that Mattis had finally fucked off for good after popping up a number of times. But, I mean, what can you say? He's like a, he's like that fucking cold sore that just keeps popping up and popping up and popping up. You know, he's like herpes. It just keeps popping up and popping up and doesn't go away no matter what you do. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I had a number of conversations with this guy, and I, I don't have the screenshots of the conversation anymore, which I wish I did, or uh, otherwise I would share them. But I ended up blocking this guy in around February of 2020 because I was getting legitimately creeped out by the legitimate, like, cyber-stalking, which I know that term gets used a bit loosely sometimes, but it was really getting to the point to where it was legitimately creepy. Like, whenever I would mention him in a comment on Damien's video or a, or a video of Gage's or whatever, he would always find it like, within not very not very long at all, and know that I commented about him, or he would message me about it, or, you know, if I made a post on my own personal Facebook, which apparently he was, you know, stalking as well, he would message me about it, or he would pop up out of nowhere, and it started getting legitimately fucking weird, so I decided to block the fucker, which later on, I found out that he called me a pussy, which... It wasn't the case. You know, I didn't block you because I'm afraid of you or because I think that your logic trumps mine. 
I blocked you because you were being a freak. Because you're fucking creepy. I blocked you because I wanted no further association with you. That's why I blocked you. Not because I'm afraid of you. But since then, Mattis has kept popping up and bothering my friends. Uh, putting bullshit privacy complaints on videos, which I'm sure he'll probably put, he'll probably try to put one on this video too. So, you know, you don't, it's, it's good to know that you're against freedom of speech, Mattis. Uh, and has it not occurred to you, retard, that if you would just walk away, if you would just like drop all of this bullshit and just move on with your life, then we wouldn't even be talking about you. We wouldn't be making videos on you. We wouldn't be making posts about you. We wouldn't be talking about you at all. We all have wanted to move on several times from this and from you, but you keep coming back and bothering all of us. That's why we're making these videos and these posts, you dumbass. Maybe if you would just go away, then all of that would go away. But because you won't go away and because you keep making, again, bullshit privacy complaints on our videos because you keep trying to false flag Damien's videos and Gage's videos, then it, you're, you're, just, you're just bringing the fire on yourself. This isn't going to go away for you. And you have the fucking nerve to act like we're the bad guys, like Damien's the bad guy and Gage is the bad guy and Cass Warfox is a bad guy. And that we're all bad people because we called you mean names that hurt your little fifis. When you advocate for what you do, fucker, you've got no right to claim the moral high ground or the intellectual high ground when you advocate for pedophilia. Okay? You can go fuck yourself. Okay? Informed consent is bullshit. I don't know how many times people have to explain this to you, but children, and when I say children, I'm talking about 12 and under, children cannot consent because they do not have the mental faculties to understand what is going on. They don't have the depth of mind to understand the consequences that can occur from what they're engaging in. And there's the phys physical repercussions the trauma that they'll end up dealing with later on in life because they'll realize, oh, fuck, I was taken advantage of. And then this whole thing about whatever the fuck, child's sex play or whatever, it, it feels, I fucking hate saying that because it's, it's so fucking wrong to even say or talk about. You're basically saying that you support manipulating children into doing shit with one another, which is fucked up and wrong, which is just a whole other level of exploitation. You say that because, you know, there might be instances of where, like, yeah, young children might be curious or something. Curiosity doesn't actually equal sexual interest, dumbass. Like, I know that that's what you want, but that's just not the reality of it. Yes, children can be curious. That does not equate sexuality. You sick fuck. <sighs> but yeah, like you you don't you don't have the right to you're you're so far gone. You have no self-awareness. Like you don't even understand the depth of what you are advocating for. Like you you so do not have the right to to claim you don't have the right to claim to be morally superior to any of us when you advocate for what you do. If you actually wanted to be a source of good, you would acknowledge that pedophilia, yes, is fuck is wrong. Even people who haven't acted on it, yes, it's fucking wrong, and they're fucking wrong. They either need to, you know, seek therapy, lock themselves into a mental institution, which would be preferable, um, or if, if they're, they don't do either of those things, then, you know, and, and it, I'll just, you know, in my world, you know, pedophiles don't want to seek help for their attraction. If they don't want to actually do something productive to prevent themselves from harming a child, then guess what? They all get lined up against a fucking wall. 
that's my solution. Okay, you're not going to take the proper steps to make sure that you don't hurt a child. You're going to get lined up against a wall and going to get taken out. Because that's a surefire way to make sure that you never harm a child. It, yeah, you just, it's, it's, it's hilarious to me. You're making these butthurt posts about what Damien said or what Gage said or what Jennifer said or what anyone else said. Like, again, if you would just go away, we wouldn't even be talking about you. And you have all of us blocked. You know, you have just damn near everyone blocked. Why don't you unblock us? You know, if, if, unless you want to get curb stomped another debate like, like you did with Gage. I saw that. That was embarrassing. All that, you know, all this, these claims of you being an intellectual and stuff, it didn't really hold up too well when that happened, did it? But stop with your bullshit privacy complaints. Stop with your bullshit false flags. Your name is out there. You, you like you're you're we we are aware of your Facebook profile. It says Michael Mattis. <laughs> you made it your uh, name on YouTube. You went by Mike M. You know, not not necessarily. You know, being that anonymous about it, you have the same first name shortened, and with the initial of your last name. It's not like you were doing a whole lot to keep your identity secret in the first place. And that's another thing. If what, you, what are you so worried about? If you're so worried about us calling you out in public, then why don't you just tuck your tail between your legs and, and fuck off? What, so you can come back and get curb stomped again by all of us? If you don't want to get called out in public, then fuck off. Stop false flagging people's videos. For bullshit reasons. We're only saying what's the truth. We're only saying that you're a disgusting piece of shit who molested his sister. And then for some reason your fucking piece of shit enabling family defends you, apparently. Which fuck them too, by the way. You know, fuck you and fuck your family. Any family member that supports you, fuck them too. I hope they come on to my video. Fuck you. Fuck you guys for enabling this piece of shit. You guys should be dragging this guy into a fucking mental asylum and throw, and telling the, the people that work there to throw away the key. This guy's a danger to society. But you guys are enabling him. Like, you are the worst type of enablers. So fuck you guys, too. So, I guess that's pretty much it on my end. I don't really know what else to really say, but... You know, Mike, if you come to this video and you start bitching, I, I won't block you. Like, bitch all you want. But all I'm doing is responding to what you've been doing. I'm only making a video on you and responding to you because you've decided to pop up yet again and harass my friends. And do bullshit to their videos. If you stop, I'll stop. Alright, that's it. Peace. And the rest of you who um, aren't pedophiles or who don't advocate for pedophilia, have a good day.